Hello, President-elect Obama. My name is Adora Sweetalk, and I'm the author of Flying Fingers, Master the Tools of Learning Through the Joy of Writing, and this is the book that I published at the age of seven. So now I'm 11, and you might be wondering why I'm addressing you through YouTube, and why well, I know that you're very concerned about both technology and education, so I thought that using my instant capture video would be a cool way to bring those together. As a matter of fact, I use technology quite a bit in education. I use video conferencing every day to speak to schools and teach students about writing, reading, even sometimes across the curriculums, writing um, through video conferencing across the world in Costa Rica, Dubai, and in Canada and here in the United States. So that is how I use technology. And I would like to tell you a little bit about what I think that you should do in education. Because right now, while well, our education system in the United States is, to use a understatement, kind of dismal. You know, we rank pretty badly when our students are being tested against students from the rest of the world. So I think that we really need to create more accountability in our schools and also national standards perhaps would fix up a lot of the problems. I know that states each have their own standards and some of them are very good. I know that a lot of states on the East Coast have some of the highest standards. But then again, there are states that try to get it easy and have super low standards for everyone so that everyone can just pass the test like that. And that's not right. We should give our kids a world-class education. This is America no matter what. Uh, and I honestly don't really care if kids pass the test or not as long as they are learning. And tests can really show you whether they are, of course. So that uh, I want to really have more of an emphasis on learning and high expectations and also another thing I would like to see we pour a lot of money into our schools but then it gets funneled off somehow into um, the bureaucracy paying for all the paperwork so I want to really eliminate all the unnecessary waste and of money that goes into the schools and I think also another thing that we should do is pour more money into gifted and talented programs because really it's a shame. These gifted and talented people are the ones who will probably be bringing our country uh, glorious, bringing glory to our country and getting the good jobs and competing with other kids from around the world, but we're still really, they're um, treated as if they're the bottom part of the class and sometimes people really underestimate their potential. So we need to uh, get more funding for gifted and talented programs. We need to make sure that schools' infrastructure is better because um, a lot of schools in very impoverished areas are simply falling apart and don't have enough textbooks, so some of the more basic things. And then we also need to raise standards and perhaps make national standards to solve that problem of states getting it easy by making their own low standards. I hope that you'll select a really good education secretary. Please replace the current one. No, I, I mean, no personal thing, but... Uh, and, you know, I, I would be much obliged if you would give me some kind of advisor position. Hint, hint. Okay. Yeah, that, that would be pretty cool. I think there's some kind of age limit on how old you can be to, or how young you have to be to be education secretary. Sorry, how old. And don't worry, you, have, you don't have to pay me anything. I'm really happy to help improve our country's education, hopefully. So, uh, I would be very, very, very honored if I could perhaps get in touch with you or any people who are involved with education in your new administration. Can't wait for your title to be turned from President-elect to Mr. President. Thank you very much.